Hey everybody, welcome to my February 2020 plan with me. I almost said 2019, I'm still getting used to it. Um, a couple things up front. First of all, my voice is still husky because it's taking forever to get over the last of this cold. Um, the second thing is I wanted to quickly address some drama that went down on Instagram on Friday. All right, I rambled on here off the cuff for a while, but I think this would be better served by a short and succinct statement. <clears throat> Last Friday, Marushka of My Summer Touch posted an Instagram story about coronavirus. An hour later, she took it down. Many of her followers believe that the post was racist and quickly decided to distance themselves from Marushka and her shop. Some of her PR team, of which I am a member, removed themselves from that team. I debated for a long time over what course of action, if any, I should take in response to this controversy, and the conclusion I have reached is that I am not going to change my affiliation with the My Summer Touch shop at this time. I myself did not read the original post as racist, and personally believe that the reaction has been overblown. I believe it could have been worded or handled better, but things being what they are, I feel comfortable continuing my relationship with Marushka and her fantastic and creative products. This is not my hill to die on, and I welcome discussion about the situation in comments or in private, and thank you for your open-mindedness and honesty. So that's where we are right now. This month, I'm going to be using these brand new inserts from my Summer Touch. Um, these, I, I was told that I was the first person to get these, that she hadn't even printed them and used them herself yet. Um, these are her new monthly, like all-in-one monthly setup. It's multiple pages, so I'm going to cut it here um, for you to show you how it works. I've just cut off the ends, so we're going to be cutting down the middle. So there's this set here. It's all of the monthly things. And then this set is uh, dailies and weeklies. I've been feeling uh, this cold that I've had for a couple weeks now has really been getting me down. And I have not been able to think straight for weeks. And I really am thinking that the idea of this more planned out kind of all-in-one, uh, pre-done-for-you kind of format of a planner system for the month is going to be really good for me, exactly what I need. So I'm going to be trying this out and letting you know what I think throughout the course of the month. Uh, let's see. So all of these are kind of in a weird order. So let's see. I believe this is the very back. This would be good in a um, traveler's notebook, of course. So then I believe then we have, yeah, this lined one here. It says weekly review. Gratitude memory, gratitude memory. I think that maybe is here. Yeah, here we go. Um, yes. All right, so it's all, oh, I'm missing a page. It's a little bit confusing to find out how these pages go in order, but I think this is right. So we have the cover page, then we have a calendar, then we have a tracker, then we have some to-do grid paper. I think this one goes in here, in the middle. Then we have the sort of log, February 2020, watch, listen, read, saw, went, tried, experienced, visited, loved, done, laughed, celebrated. So just sort of memories. Then over here we have gratitude, memory, accomplishments, positivity, journal, log, content. Gratitude, memory, accomplishment, positivity, journal, log. So that's on two sides of this page. You can write a little something for every day. Um, it does go all the way to 31, which I think is just by default. That might be something that she's still tweaking. Cause like I said, this is kind of a beta view. Weekly review. I think I'm gonna probably try to divide this into four weeks. Oh, I see. There's one, two, three. Uh, well, not quite. Maybe divide each page in half. And then the back cover. So this is the monthly setup. Let me punch that real quick. The thing that's making the last bit of this cold the worst is that, so like I, I ended up with just like a cough and a runny nose for like a week, a solid week, um, which is 
fine until the cough started making my chest hurt. And so now my chest is hurting. Like, I don't have the runny nose anymore. The cough is really minor, but when I do cough, it hurts so bad. And I can't roll over in bed without it hurting. It's just crazy. I'm going to see the doctor on Monday about it, so... Hopefully by the time you're seeing this, I'm feeling better. <coughs> okay. So here are all of the dailies. This is just a day per page with little week on the pages in there as well. I'm going to cut this. are all in the wrong order. I was planning to figure out how they were printed and how to um, get them to be like in the right order as you go. Uh, not so much. So let's figure this out real quick. Okay, so here's where we are. Um, this insert starts all the way on January 26th and then goes to February 29th. Um, ideally, I would want it to go all the way to March 1st because I do like to plan my weekends out together. But by then, maybe I'll move on to the March insert like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move into it starting this week. I'm actually filming this on the 25th. So <coughs> I think I may actually use this insert this uh, daily for the t Sunday and then move on to the week starting here. So I'm going to go ahead and set those aside for now um, and just focus in this video on the monthlies. So let's see, I don't know if I really do want to decorate the front or just sort of leave it as is for now. start with this Pull up my future log I've been really out of it with my planning because obviously I just have been feeling so crummy I've been sleeping a lot let me see if these fit nicely yeah they're a little big that'll be fine so we're gonna do seventh is this mom group I'm going to The nice thing about these Planner Kate stickers is that they are repositionable. So. Whoop. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that the point of these, these are actually supposed to be um, Erin Condren width. So you can use your um, your stickers in here. I am going with a pink theme for February like I could kind of eh, like I celebrate Valentine's Day but oh you know what this is this is the Super Bowl so that's not the evening it was going to be an evening event that was scheduled for that evening but instead turns out we might be hosting a sort of impromptu Super Bowl party which is the other thing I have to do this weekend besides filming this video Go. More of these little stickers. I love these little samplers from 
I do need to get my hair cut. Uh, let's see. Yeah, in particular. don't have any pink left on this one. All right. I think I will grab this pen. Ashford's day is 26th. Mark your calendars. And I've got a doctor's appointment. I think I might be using one of these little dots that I haven't used for anything yet. Twenty fourth at nine thirty, and I'll use one more of these planner kates for the fifteenth. Is a sort of Valentine's event thingy we're going to. where it is and then obviously Valentine's Day itself the feast of Saint Cyril and Methodius is on a Friday which is great we'll probably go do dinner or maybe was it last last year my husband went to this place near his work that sells uni and he got us a whole bunch of uni, and we made uni sushi, and it was the best. So good, we just did it at home. All right, I like this swashy tape. I think I got it from Simply Gilded, even though it is not um, gilded. What's the term? Foiled. I know that she is known for her foiling. They're amazing. I've got a couple of those. This one I also really like. It's gotta love a classic floral washi tape. Problem with this one, doesn't really want to commit. Oh, my little craft knife. It's a little bit too stretchy. I think it might actually be washi, like washi paper. A lot of these are not. I carefully cut it here. Didn't feel right. Smear it out a little. There we go. Something like that. You guys remember the time, I think it was last July, I um, I used a craft knife to cut my washi on the whole page, and yeah, I cut, I cut through, yeah, I did it again here, but it was like all over the weekly, and it was a mess, but I still did it, I used it anyway. Yeah, anyway, that's pretty low-key, right? Pretty simple looking. Um, let me, travel, 
pink mild liner and just highlight for 2020. I'm not going to use that highlighter a lot because I'm not a fan of fluorescence anyway. So I'm not sure yet. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's cool. That does go into March here. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use these boxes for. Um, maybe just a little memory. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'll just go back and fill it with washi tape. I haven't decided, but there's an overview of the month. I haven't used a grid monthly in a while. It looks nice. I always like the look of it. Um, let's see. This tracker, I am not sure that I'm ready to go back to tracking. The point of having this sort of pre-prepared for me was that I wasn't going to be thinking about it too much. Um, the other thing about this is there's not a lot of room. Obviously, it fits on the, um, the pocket size, so that's what's important. Um, I could use it, though, for maybe like a Gantt chart for some projects or something. So we'll see. Um, that might be what I use it for. It's a good idea. To do in February. I don't know. Is there room for dates? Let's see. I guess I'm just, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to feel like this is an invitation or an obligation. I like the idea of it. But at the same time, I'm not sure what's going to trigger me to come back here. And if flipping past it is just going to make me feel guilty that I'm not using it, we'll see. I'm not going to let myself feel guilty because whatever, I'm just trying it out. Um, I'm thinking that I might actually, it's not ideal though. Oh, you know what? This is front and back actually. So this can be moved wherever. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is where it is in the right place either. All right, so we've got this like tracker thingy. That's great. To do in February, great. There's just a, a grid page there. I can put some general to dos here. I can move this here. I'm gonna cover up the header with, I guess this one. I guess this one. These are some super cheap, like plain color washies that I was like, I should get some plain color washies. I just picked them up from AliExpress and they are so bad. They barely stick. They're cut wonky. So I don't use them very often. I'm gonna use one of the little to-do stickers from in here if I can find it. I never find the stickers I want here. These are just some Mandy stickers that I got as a gift. Here we go. Let's see, I'm trying to peel this up. There we go. Got it. This just says to do now. Look at that. Transformed. So this is going to be items that need to get done up on a particular day and then this and behind it are going to be general items that don't need to be done on a particular day at all so these come from first of all put this to February I do have some dates on here sorry they need to get added real quick to the calendar this is my birthday spread I'm just gonna write these in a normal gel pen so here's my mom. I just put a little gift box next to it. Olivia, my goddaughter. And My husband's grandfather. <clears throat> there we go. It's important. And then here's the recurring task list from Peanuts Planner Co. <clears throat> Love this guy. I just want to fold the right way. 
we go. So this is gonna populate on this side. here. Oh, you know what? Just highlight the weekends, the dates of the weekends. is yeah so if I, our mortgage is due on the last of the month but I'm not gonna pay it on a Saturday I'm gonna pay it like on the Thursday before so that it goes through in time let's see All right, looks like that's everything from my future log section. So there's nothing particular um, that I had on the future log that needs to get done like generally over the course of the month. I'm gonna flip in here to my someday maybe list. For the month of January, I picked, sorry about the baby. She didn't want to take a nap. Again, my husband is taking care of her, so it's okay. For January, I reorganized the pantry. Um, there's still a couple things I'm doing this weekend, and that's fine. Um, but I think I'm going to work on this. I've been meaning to organize my recipe binder in the kitchen for a while. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's like my big goal for... The month. And so I'm going to go ahead and I guess I'll highlight it in magenta because that's another color. And I think maybe I will dedicate this page will be here, but instead of a dot because it's not like a do it once thing. Um, that's going to be my main goal for the month. And I will use this page to write out the ideas and steps for it. Then, um, if anything is like projecty over the course of the month, I can use this as a Gantt chart for it. And then other miscellaneous things that need to get done just this month, I can use this uh, grid page for that. And these grid pages. So they're nice and big. These inserts are really designed for big handwriting. I have kind of small handwriting, so I think that just gives me more white space, which is fine as well. So, and this is going to be an invitation, a gentle invitation. This is going to need to be divided into sections. Let's go ahead. And divide each of these in half. So we have one, two, three, four. Go, and so this will be four.
right, this will be a sort of general month overview. So I can just put a couple notes on like what went well or highlights or whatever for the week. Um, what did I say? Weekly review. All right. And then that brings us to the end of the little monthly. So I like this. This is going to be really cool. Um, it's all set up for me, which is nice. I didn't have to do a lot of thinking or formatting. And I will be flipping through this in the front of my planner. And then these little guys, the day per pages, um, I'll go through every morning is the idea. I go through the front section of my planner here that has my monthlies and such. Um, and so I'll flip through everything, you know, pick what I need to do and move it to my weeklies and dailies, which are in this section here. It's going to be really full with both February and January in here. Anyway, and so that's where I keep these. So uh, that is what we've got. Thank you for joining me. Sorry about my voice. I hope that you found some of that interesting. Um, and do leave comments on anything we discussed today. I will see you in the next video on Sunday. So don't forget to subscribe and I love you guys. Bye.